All right, back to solving my super elite solution where I can solve all the problems because I'm so super elite and genius and uh, more advanced than that asshole that's shaped like a cabbage. Hi. Are you worshipping the meat flower? That guy didn't have any meat. He was a skeleton. Come on. One nightmare. Nope. Come on. One nightmare. Nope. Mentalis Uberalis! Mentalis Uberalis. Oh, God. Uh... Mind over all? Uberalis? Mentalis Uberalis. Wait, that was all I had to do was go around? What the f- What the f- <laughs> I thought it would be at least a little clever. He was like, that's impossible. And all he had to do was- yeah, well, my, my bowels have more variety than you do, so... Yeah. <laughs> Where does this go? This seems to be the optional place, right? Because the, the way forward was really obvious, actually, and they had a whole cutscene about how it was complicated and hard, but it wasn't. How do I get up? There we go. All we have to do is go down one ladder and up another ladder. We literally just went down a ladder and up another ladder in the previous room. He had to do that to get there. Why was he confused? I don't understand. Did he forget what he just did? Because he already did it once. I don't know. Ah. That was basically the only reference I knew about Psychonauts, and I've seen it now. There's apparently been another Psychonauts game that isn't Psychonauts 2. It's some kind of VR experience. Came out like two years ago. I really need to get like a PC VR set. Am I supposed to get that? I guess I could, probably could. I keep micro-adjusting the camera because it's like... You know what? Maybe I should turn that off. Whoa, okay. Your sensitivity is a trip. G g controls? Camera. Smart camera. Altitude dampening? I don't know which, what, what those things mean. Ah, oh, God. No, I'm trying to leave. For some reason, your control your controller doesn't work during menus. Are, we, are you gonna leave me alone, camera? Like going uphill in January with Ow. I'm not sure what was changed by me doing the. Hmm. Maybe it is altitude. What? Click on the spot. Uh, controls, camera. Smart camera altitude dampening. I don't know what these settings mean. Oh well. I just keep... It keeps defaulting to a slightly different angle than I'd want. I kind of want a higher angle so I can see my platforming better. So I keep fighting it by moving it and then I keep like micro-adjusting the camera over and over again while I'm walking. Uh... Oh well. We'll just live. I've actually lost the thread completely of where I was originally. Uh, what? How did I not get those? Well, I don't know where that ladder was leading originally that I didn't go up. I just opted to find the other stuff. Alright, well that's... Now our platforms are out of sync. Got it. Onward and upward, soldier. Huh. Huh. Okay, I made it. We're good. Oh, this is the other side of that ladder from earlier. Um... Where am I trying to go, then? <laughs> I just went in a circle, I guess. Can I climb this thing? Nope. Oh, well. Poke around and find things. Uh, oh, that's supposed to be a city. That's supposed to be a city down there, but it's like a weirdly small patch. I don't think I can get up there from here, but I think I've also been there before.
Oh yeah. It looks like seaweed covered in like stars. So it's like field metals. Oh, there's a projection here. Seems to be people walking into a theater. It's game ah, Jesus. <laughs> I was staring at it when that happened. <laughs> And there's a surprise, it's me. My face is here now. This is time- oh. I was like, this is boring. I'm gonna shave some time off of this, and then I couldn't. There we go. No one should be allowed to shimmy this slowly. It should be a crime. Oh, damn it. Oh god, okay. All right, I should just be patient <laughs> and very slowly shit me across. All of my attempts to skip ahead are not working out. I figured I could like jump off and jump ahead and then relatch on or something. But like grabbing the ledge is surprisingly hard apparently. It's just so slow. There we go. You just absorb positive mental health. Wow, if only we're so easy. Maintaining your mental health is important. Lessons of life. Because if you run out, you will not be able to maintain your astral projection in this in this mind. And you'll be kicked back into the real world. Ta-da! Just killed that kid! Do you know lessons of life? You cannot commit violence against plant. It's made of violence. This is mostly this is mostly wasteful, I guess. There's just so much. Oh, hello. Are you the, are you my emotional baggage, Mark Two? Oh. They're so adorable, but also, like, vaguely horrifying in a little Inferno kind of way. No, like... We'll run our way to 100, but it's gonna take a while. Oh, that's a... yep. Trampoline. Let's go up. There we go. Oh god. Gotta judge the perspective of where these guys are. Oh god. Okay, cool. Is that that was both of them, right? Nope, there's another one. Good. There we go. Anyone else? Trying to land on two-dimensional objects in three-dimensional space. You just gotta believe. Oh god. Oh god. You cannot clear that jump that way. Oh. Oh, he's dead. Well, I hope you and Bobby have a nice long romantic relationship. You're clearly made for each other. Is Kazooie in this game? Oh, oh sorry. Hey, Dogen, what's wrong? I keep blowing up. Oh, they let you back in after you fall out? Well, good luck with that, but now follow me, I'll help you through the mines. I don't know why you trust me though, I've never done it before either. Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. Okay. Try not to get exploded. Step one, don't touch the mine. Step, uh... I just smacked the mine and I'm, I'm fine, I guess. Careful. I can't do it. I can't do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Just follow me. Okay. Okay. Gotta be very, very careful or you're gonna get exploderated to it. death. I, yes, you can. Shut up and follow me. 
You fool. The pa true power comes from within. And some shit. I don't know. Platitudes. Receive my platitudes. Oh, so many platitudes. Do you feel good now? Am I- have I- have, have I- have I filled your platitude meter? We good? Yeah, good job. Okay, I'm gonna go through stuff now. There we go. Alright. What's that? Ooh. Are those arrowheads? It's a psychic arrowhead. It's- it's like a normal arrowhead, but not real, so less good. <laughs> It's raw energy that will contribute value to your arrowheads in small amounts. I think you'll find they add up over time. So it's like another kind of arrow? They just are arrowheads, gotcha. Okay. Bye. Yep. That might be the exit. But get this first! Ha! Kaka. Here we go. To save your progress, save. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm guessing that means that I have to manually save in this game. Waiting more motivating. Is there like a the plane going down, this soldier? Hit that door and Geronimo! Hey, no one told me to pack a chute. Did Washington we have a chute when he crossed the Delaware? First, Just we went to the end of the street, and then we turned left, and then we turned right. And then we turned a soft right, and then we turned a deep left, and then we took a side road, and then we stopped and asked for directions, and then Lady had to go to the bathroom, and then Lady saw a gopher, and then Lady had to stop and scratch, and then I bent down to tie my shoe, and then we walked three miles. And then we walked two miles. And then we walked four miles. And then we walked half a mile. And then we made a U-turn. And then we had a snack. And then we got lost for a while. And then we got attacked by bees. And then I fell down a bad hole and had to reset my own arm back in the socket. And then we just stood still for a while, and then Lady had to stop and scratch. Oh, he's gonna keep and going. Oh god, he's looping. Mind. Stop and him. I gave Lady a bone. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got rip he got ripped out mid-story, and he was- he just became more urgent while telling his boring story. Which is very boring, except for the parts that were really interesting. Like, he saw a badger. And also had to restart his own arm in its own socket, which is terrifying and painful. What a what a strong child. Maybe it was the trauma of that that made him forget how to tell stories in a good way. <gasps> Unfortunate the dialogue was overlapping the other dialogue, but. Excuse me, collecting things. What game? What are you guys doing? You guys trapped? What's your shirt say? Whispering Rock. Oh, that's why you wanted the. That's why they went with the Whispering Psychics or whatever is the name of the band. Because this place is called Whispering Rock. You guys are terrifying. Like, just truly terrifying as a duo. Are you guys trying to piggyback on my success here? Hey, it's okay. I'm sure you'll get it if you try again. What just happened? Okay, whatever. Kaka. Oh, this one. You score enough points on this course, kid, and I'll give you a reward. That sounded threatening. All right, we need 20 points. We have 60 seconds. You won't receive any points for hitting friendly targets. So just beat up all the evil bad guys. Don't punch babies. Gotcha. Yay, do I punch? punch I do. Punch, punch, yep. Punch, okay. Kaka. Uh, this seems like it's going to be very easy. Punch, 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 punch,
They're trying to they're trying to trick me. They're trying to trick me. They're trying to trick me. Ah! There you go. I was slightly out of range that one time. That's a pretty good reward, actually. Thank you. Thank you for that. They don't deserve my success. <laughs> Most people, they got something to hide. They store away their shame, their dirty little secret secrets, and these tiny vaults in their minds. But the enemy has not allowed any secrets in wartime, are they, soldier? So go ahead and bust open this vault. I got nothing to hide. I got nothing to hide. All right, well, fine. Oh, get out of the way, mouse. Oleander's pride. He used to be skinnier. He never had a torso, though. He was always just arms and legs attached to a head. With an adorable little suit he wears on his chin. And they go, blam, blam, look at me, I'm Rambo. I ru I'm ruining my teeth by holding a knife in it. Beware my dick rocket. Also, I help children. But still don't have a torso. Tragic. You enjoy that. One of my favorites. Yeah, it's because it's all of your favorite. Yeah, it's all your best feelings. Look at how cool and awesome I am, and also a philanthropist. Everybody loves me. I'm Oleander. Wait till I get to your baggage, though. Then you're gonna want to hide. Kaka. Teleport options. This little guy can teleport you to any previously visited area in the current mental world. Just pick your destination and go. Yeah, okay. Because <clears throat> usually in these kinds of games, you just want to like beat the level. When it's like, it seems like a relatively linear world to travel through. But they gave me these figments to collect. So I'm guessing we have like incentive to, to backtrack if we think we missed stuff. Replay it to collect all the ones you didn't get the first time around. I'm trying to do a good job though at just getting them all. Oh boy. Deku Scrub, why are you attacking me? I thought we were friends. I gave your dad closure or whatever. Dang it. Huh. Look at the tiny bunny. Look at them. They're all doomed. Huh, did, 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 did. Oh. Hi there. Ugh. I am getting little Inferno flashbacks where it's like I can't tell if this is supposed to be cute or really off putting as a design. This should be. Ouchie. I'm consistently running. It should be. out. It should be avoidable ish. Nah, I think you basically need to turn around behind cover. So you want to keep strafing in a direction the whole time you're not behind cover. There you go. Did I miss any? I don't think I did. Oh, just turned off. Well, that'll make it easier. Yeah, Adam. There we go. Don't see any glowing shapes at the moment. Kaka. Did I not get that though? Oh. Yeah. I think you abandoned your friend, sir, and he died. He loved you, and you left him. That was a transition. Whoa. Ah, <laughs> that's fun. We're walking on the wall right now, basically. There we go. Whoa. Okay, can we just... Oh! No! Uh, there we go. <laughs> this is surprisingly hard to get sometimes. I guess you want to jump in them? I think jumping might increase your chances of hitting the hitbox. There we go. Hey! We're on our way to 100. Are there exactly 100 per world? They said 100 is the upgrade. Or the promotion threshold. We're on an airship now. How the hell did we get here? You can grab poles like that and swing on them. It's all about upper body strength, you know? Ugh. 
have to change directions with a button press. There you go. Haha. -ha. How you doing, buddy? Don't worry, I've got your tag. I do wonder if future levels are going to be linear like this. I'm finding every tag before I find every thing, but usually finding the tag and finding the creature would usually indicate that you could find them in an out of order. I guess the idea is just that I could miss the tag. That's a little less interesting. But maybe maybe this is the 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 linear level, and maybe future ones are more of like a world you go through. Am I going that way? Oh, beat the beat the wall up. Gotcha. Here we go. There's our incentive to replay levels later. Come on, Poon Poon. There you go. Cobweb trouble? The camp store sells this handy device for removing pesky mental cobwebs. Buy your cobweb duster today. But you guys said I couldn't. I need to collect other things first. I'm not allowed to collect this device until I have sufficient. I, I, I need. Oh, I need the the uh the item from here come back here you you evil little 2d objects flying in space where are you i've seen you and i'm not leaving without you god damn it <laughs> you guys are agony come here Got him. Oop, careful. Huh? All right. <laughs> Starting over. What? Oh, I need to double jump through that one. Oh, it's gonna be one of these. It's gonna be one of these games. Welcome to 3D platforming, everybody. Enjoy your stay. Here we go. Dude, I am working on it. No one else is keeping up. Oh, wow. Damn. He knows how to push my guy's buttons. Rank four. Is it 18 figments? So I got like. Oh, there's that web again. How, why do you taunt me so? Ah. It's, it's his safe. Oh. Are there more of them? Any more of you guys wandering around? That one surprised me. Ah, there's the tag. Wait, no, that's a safe, though. That's not a... That's not mental baggage. That's some other shit entirely. Dang, my bowels move more than you do, Pokey. This guy has sent some real mixed messages. This is really hard, and I don't expect you to do it, but also go faster! In a first-person mode... With... All I have to do is press... 12? I'm just gonna press random buttons. It's right stick, gotcha. <laughs> just press 12, you know, everyone's favorite button. 12. This is a... This, this is what happened to me when I first... I, I, once upon a time, I bought Resident Evil 4. Because I was like, I heard about this... This hot game everyone's so hype about, right? But I bought the PC version from like 10 years ago. And so, like, I got to the first quick time event where you have to run from a boulder, and it was like, press... press Q and 7 
it was like press is like it's like press Q and seven and rapidly press them and then at the end I was like okay I I I I, I kept experimenting like what buttons are those because it wants me to have a controller but I don't have a controller and it, and it was t referring to made up controller buttons because like when it, if it, if it said something that was on the keyboard it wasn't it didn't actually mean that it meant the made up concept of the of the button on a control on a controller. So I, I finally figured out what are the two buttons to alternate pressing so I could run. And then, it, when it, but then when you finally run enough, it wants you to press two other buttons simultaneously in order to jump out of the way of the boulder. And I'm like, I, don't, I have no idea. I, I finally just gave up. I'm like, I can't do a whole playthrough of a game that is made up in, entirely based around made up buttons. Thank God the Xbox 360 controller like eventually standardized controls for when a PC game wants to use a controller because that was a nightmare. It was it was made it was made for a controller. But it was made for a controller when you have never played. It was made for a controller before the 360 was like the standard input for PC games. So you had to have a custom controller that somehow referred to these buttons in order to play. The, it's like it was a terrible PC port. Like what a what, a, what kind of asshole doesn't? I don't know why they would do that. All emotional baggage sorted. Nice. That was just that was just a problem. It was unplayable. Shut up, I'm exploring. This is my style. Yeah, one of these days I'll finally play Resident Evil 4. And uh, the more recent PC port's supposed to actually be better, or whatever. But yeah, the one that came out on Steam like a year or two ago. Not the original. There was a much worse one, like ten years sooner. I should've just bought it on the Wii like everybody else did. But if I had, I couldn't have a blind playthrough. Which now I can. So I guess there's that. Let's wait for the blimp. There we go. The car! Where am I trying to land? I guess there. Yeah, this is... Huh! Nope. Ah, okay. Oh, I came from over there, gotcha. Keep losing my sense of space, so I have to like reorient to figure out if I'm going the right way. Okay. Should be good. There's another web down there, but can't do anything with those for now. Oh, jeez. Uh, switch rails left or, okay, yeah. Follow me. Safety, this and we will escape from the city. <laughs> okay, go! Oh, I missed one. Oh, this, oh my god, how do you get all. Oh, oh my god. These are just come rat. What? You can barely see them. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I, uh, there we go. I didn't, I did not, I did not find them up. Running around at the speed of sand. Oh, he's mocking them. He threw it right back at him. Sick burn, bro. No, you. You go the fragile school of comebacks. You, you are broken. <laughs> you are damaged goods. Well, that's terrifying. And it has little adorable eyes. That makes it less terrifying. Uh, the old rolling tunnel of crazy laws. An old one, but a hard one. What you gotta do is. Ah, who are we kidding? You're never gonna make it through that. <laughs> Rude. Oh god. We've begun rotation. Okay. I don't think gravity matters here. Yeah, I just. Wait, no, gravity matters. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> it's not shifting under my feet. I have to move along this at the rate that it's going at. Okay. There's also figments here. Oh, damn it. Yeah, we're at the part of the game where I'm gonna start missing figments. Because until now, I could just take my time and get them, but now it's like they're they're like based around specific locations in a timing-based environment. Maybe maybe you're supposed to miss them. Obviously not like you're supposed to miss them, but I'm I'm, I'm saying I'm thinking maybe 100 percent completion is not super necessary. Because some of these somebody's got dickish. <laughs> Let's go! Gaha! Victory.